Okay, students, what this video is going to be about is hopefully it's going to be able to resolve your issues with uploading your Dreamweaver files from home. I know some students are having issues with that, and hopefully this is going to resolve that issue. Uh, first thing I want you to do is we're going to change some of the preferences in Dreamweaver. So have Dreamweaver open, and I, then I want you to go under the Dreamweaver main menu and select Preferences. Okay, when this dialog pops open, I want you to make sure that you find Site under Categories here. You got a lot of different categories, find Site. All right, and then what I want you to do is in the FTP timeout, I want you to change that to 60 seconds, okay? and then go ahead and say apply and then you can close that dialog box then i want you to go under site manage site once you've got this dialog box open you may not have anything in here as far as your sites so what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to import your site settings, the ones that we set up earlier. So go ahead and click on the import site. You need to navigate to your Art116 folder. And you need to pick up this file that ends with STE. Your name might here it might be slightly different. That's not really important. What's important is the .st, the .st. TE file. Go ahead and open that. You should have it listed here then. And what we're going to do is we're going to change some settings slightly. So you can either double click the name here or click on the pencil icon to edit it. Okay, make sure that you have this information filled in. Again, you might have a slightly different site name. It doesn't matter really. It could be, could say Art116. Then that's not going to matter that much but you do need to navigate to where your folders are located your site folder so make sure that you do that or at least check it and click on the folder icon navigate to your usb art 116 and select your named folder i'm not going to go ahead and click on the choose but you should if you need to do that because um, i've already got it done so i'm going to say cancel in my case all right, once you've got this set up, and I want to emphasize, again, Dreamweaver needs to know where your, your folders are located. Then I'd like you to go into Server. So I'm clicking right here, and we're going to edit some of these preferences. So I'm going to select my folder. I could either double-click it or click on the pencil icon. Either are fine. I'll click on the pencil icon. It's going to launch this dialog box. Now you should have a server name in here. You might have something slightly different. Um, hopefully you have something similar to mine. Um, it, honestly, it doesn't matter exactly what you have in here. You need to make sure that you have FTP. You've got the FTP address similar to mine, your personal username, your personal password. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this. Okay, if this, if this dialog box does not pop open, Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully, don't worry about it just yet. Um, if, you, if you did not, you got something else, a couple things could be going on. So I'm going to just say okay to this. First off, you need to make sure that your, your password is updated. Okay, if the college has asked you to... Uh, change your password at some point, make sure that um, your password is correct. Also, if you're still having problems after doing that, please restart Dreamweaver. Um, I don't know why this happens, but sometimes just restarting Dreamweaver resolves the issue. Also, if you click on more options, you could try to de-check use passive ID. Do you check that? and that might resolve your issues as well. Um, if you're still having issues, please let me know and um, we'll try to work, I'll try to work with you individually.